Maybe I was high on Coca Cola. Did you say Coca Cola or Coke? Which Coca Cola. Coca Cola. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. My name is Alexandra Caesar, and this is Five Gal. Thank you so much for tuning in to our cooking channel again today, where I have Gersi, a good friend of mine, who is going to teach us how she cooks at home. Gersi, how long we've been friends? Fifteen years. Maybe? Fifteen years. About? Fifteen years. This is the hardest working mom I know, and when she said she wanted to be part of a show, I was so thrilled and inspired. I have learned so much from you, and today you're here, and I know you have a busy lifestyle. How many kids do you have again? Um, five. Five kids. Um. Um, what did you uh, have five kids? Uh, three humans and two oh. four legged. They are kids. <laughs> okay, so she has me. she has five kids. So Gracie is always and, I, and my mom lives with me, my elderly mom. And you are a stay at home mom, right? Mm -hmm. And you are the homemaker, and she home cooks everything. I don't know how you do it. Mostly, mostly, <laughs> mostly. So whenever I need some inspiration or any information about any dish or ingredient guess who i go to her so she is like my wikipedia all, herbs, all vitamins all vitamins <laughs> or she is the know it or she is the google wikipedia about food so gersi could you talk to us a little bit about the dish that you're going to cook for us and show us how you cook it um today is going to be shrimp and grits which uh, in Creole is uh, mayimulu uh, i went to a restaurant once in uh -huh. uh, charleston south carolina and i ordered that Yes. Quite it was white grits and then it was cheesy, too much butter, and the shrimp didn't have flavor. So I went back home and recreated your own, my own by using yellow, um, coarse grits. Corn. Uh -huh. It's not cornmeal, it's grits, but it's coarse. It's coarse, okay. Yes. And I use the organic ones from okay. um, Sprouts. Um, okay. And then I prepare um, the shrimp um, Haitian Creole style with, as you can see, with fresh all the herbs, herbs, that's your fresh herbs and fresh ingredients. Okay. And then everything I have here, I make sure it's organic so there's no toxins sprayed on them. Mm -hmm. And uh, it also a uh, mixture of some of the herbs and spices that I use. Could you share with us what's in this right here? Because uh, it does smell good, but um, what is this? Yeah, um, Haitian people call, uh, they call it epis, which means um, spices, but um, I call it Haitian pesto because it looks like um, pesto using... Um, pesto. Pesto using uh, Italian dishes. Uh -huh. But basically, this is, I believe also in um, prepping, prepping. prepping my food so that way if I get home, you know, kind of late one day, I don't have to prepare everything from scratch. So that was, actually that was my sister's idea, Daphne. Uh -huh. And uh, so we just prepare the spices by crushing um, in your blender. Um, garlic, green onions, um, mm -hmm. parsley. Some people put green pepper, but I, I don't put that in there. And some onions if you want to. So basically that's like the base of the, the food to give it flavor you know once you make it you put it in a uh, uh, ice cube trays and then it will just you know portion it out for you okay and then you know and you take it as you go this is wonderful and i see you have all those um good looking herbs and spices here that um you know that are actually yeah let me talk about this thing for, for, for my haitian for my haitian people okay and the reason i'm saying that all caribbean or people from uh, central america central america South, South or South even america. africa they like to use this Maggi or Maggi? What do they call it? You know the little bouillon cubes? Mm -hmm. And that thing is a killer. It has MSG in it. I don't know why people still use it. So instead of using that, I found this at Costco. It's all organic, natural, no MSG. All, I mean, if you, I read my ingredients when I buy. If you read the ingredients, all natural stuff. And so it enhances the flavor of the food. I don't put a lot, just a little bit. There are different flavors. Okay. This one is uh, like chicken, chicken, but they have different flavors. You can find at Costco. Okay. Uh, or other stores now. Now they're so popular. I see their advertisement on TV. And on TV. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I just want to make sure this is the way you cook. Oh yeah. This is the way you cook on a daily basis. Yes. This is how you feed your family. And if you cook differently, there's not the right or wrong way. This show is showcasing how we cook at home and to share with the audience. So if you would like to share, please drop your number information down on the channel and we'll reach out to you. Again, uh, Gersi, again, we're so excited. Let's get started. <laughs> Hi, 
I know in the South people eat it a lot, mm -hmm. you know, in the US, mm -hmm. because they eat that for breakfast and, and it really keeps you full for a long time. But it's a heavy carb though. It's not something you can eat all the time. It's loaded with carbs. Yeah. Really? Oh yes. But guess what? It's better for you than in rice if you have diabetes. Oh really? Yes, because it has less calories. Oh, we're gonna do a four to one ratio. Four cups of water or one cup of grapes. Because we have to give it enough so, water to um to just allow it to yeah. slow cook like like a churn, you know? So far we have uh put the water for the cornmeal. It's not cornmeal. It's for what? Coarse grits. Coarse grits, rectification. Excuse, yellow. Ye yellow fourth coarse grits. Organic. Orga organic, you see what I mean? Organic. This is hard work. Okay. And then, <laughs> whatever. And then we put uh, a broth. In the broth, we put garlic. We put onion, turmeric, salt. And then she put a Mexican pepper, which may pop any moment. Is that correct? That will make sure it doesn't pop. Make sure it doesn't pop. So next, we're going to... And then we added also the... This spice right here for to enhance the flavor. Oh yeah, the chicken bouillon it's, it's awesome. You could get that at Costco. So, or, or any other stores, any other stores. Publix, Publix. So we didn't, you forgot the oh. tomatoes. So we're gonna use the organic red sauce as a substitute. It works. For crushed tomatoes. For yeah. crushed tomatoes, we, we, which can work as well. Yeah, it will work. I mean, it will work. Okay. It's just that the taste, you know, we'll, we'll miss something in the fresh, fresh tomato taste. Okay. But that's okay. Um, so so what I'm, I'm improvising. So what I'll do, I'm gonna take some of this because I like my sauce to be red. So just you, you like the sauce to be red? Yes, red. So I'm what? gonna take um this is bigger. So I'm gonna take uh, the red pepper. Uh-huh. Very careful. Knife. Remove the seeds. Some people So the what's seeds. the difference if you use the orange pepper? Oh, this is gonna give you color, red. Okay. No, no, I'm using all of this. Oh. This is, I'm using it in, uh, instead of, in place of the tomato that I forgot. So I'm going to blend this so my sauce is going to be bright red. Right. Does that make sense? Does it make sense? No. No, but it's okay. <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> I'll catch it later. You'll catch it later. Okay. Don't try, don't try to understand right now. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay. That's good. And then quick. Mix to crush, crush the, um, mm -hmm. the pepper. So, um, Gersi, so all of those good herbs we have here, are we gonna use any of them? Oh yes. The, so that these will serve as garnish. Oh garnish. But really, I use it for health purposes also, because um, this right here, mm -hmm. parsley, it cleans your kidneys and your liver, and this is is a metal. It, it detoxifies your body. What is that? Um, um, That's um cilantro. <laughs> Because uh, I want the sauce to be kind of thick, so I don't want it watery. Okay. Okay, so that's good. So do you want me to put the oil, the avocado oil for mm -hmm. you? Yeah. So, okay. but before we do that, Alex, mm -hmm. we need to mix this in the shrimp. In the shrimp, okay. Yeah. So I'll put, um, not, not the whole thing. And then, by the way, when you're buying shrimp, this is a shrimp that I got from Costco. We'll give somebody, my husband bought it. it they add sodium as a preservative in it. So do not add, um, do not add salt. Salt. Yeah, it will get salty. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but you can use uh, lime juice or lemon juice. Okay, I do have um, lime juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, what I'm just gonna Okay. And uh, and that's my mom. You extract the juice like that by rolling it. Okay. So it's not really juicy. I use something at home to press it. Up. Okay. I have time for that. You get more out of it. Okay. And then the next one. Mm -hmm. That's a whole lot. No, it's not gonna be. Yeah, because I'm not liking salt. Okay. You don't like acidity? Mm -hmm. No. But well, you know you need acidity to balance no, out the I... pH balance. Yeah. You don't like the taste. But it's not good for you. It's not good for me. Oh really? Oh, okay. But... Any acidity, but the lime But it's okay. it's okay. Okay. But you shouldn't butter if you add uh, um stomach acid butter. You shouldn't uh, okay. That's what I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm new to this, mm -hmm. kind of new since like past two years. Mm -hmm. We don't know that only in Haiti, lemon pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it, it's a good brand because if you read the ingredients, all natural stuff. So just a little bit. Okay. To enhance the flavor. Okay. Okay. And then a splash of smoked paprika. Mm hmm. Okay. And then this one, just a little bit of it. Mm hmm. Just mix it. You don't even have to let this marinate because uh, the shrimp, you know, it's... Uh, mix it up right away. Yeah, yeah, because it's uh, it's not dense. Just... 
Okay. Okay, so let's go right here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Both of them, I put a little bit of avocado oil. Yeah. Remember, do not use olive oil to stir fry anything. This is our... So you're gonna fry the red sauce. We don't want to fry it, kind of let it simmer. Okay. Let me see, let me test, test it. Meanwhile, this is getting hot. Oh, just said it's happening. One at a time, darling. Key thing, when you're making fish or shrimp, you do not want to add water, unless you're making some kind of very brothy type of... Um, stew? Yeah. Like a stew fish yeah. like they do mm -hmm. in Central America. Yeah. South America. Okay, so we are going to kind of... Uh, Make sure they don't pile on top of each other. Why is that? Well, it keeps the, the skin kind of firm, in my opinion. Because you don't want to overcook your shrimp either. You want it to be plop and kind of translucent, like you say. Well, <laughs> you little, I mean, they're yeah. all going to get there eventually. No, no, no. If you pile them on top, it's a different texture. I'm mincing the, the peppers. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, I, I love sweet peppers. I eat them almost every day. Okay, um, this is getting dry. Okay, put it on low. It is on low. Put it on low. And then what I'm going to add is to add this. What, where's the pot? What? Oh, what? Not pot, this right here. Pot, this. Or oh, anything. That's the, the marinade, so. Yeah, I know. So we're just gonna add this. Okay. Okay, stir. So, I'm gonna put this. See, just open a little bit. Can you eat pepper? I can eat some pepper. Not a lot. So I just puncture it a little bit. Okay. To release the flavor. Okay. But it's not going to be hot. Um, we need to add some um, Creole seasoning. It tastes like Italian food. So what I'm going to do right now, we're going to bring it here. Okay. Move it around. Mm -hmm. You, do you want it on high? Oh, no, it's good like that. That's fine. Recover it. We're going to add this. You need to let it infuse the stuff that I put. So while we are waiting to unveil the final product of our island shrimp and grits, we are introducing a new segment of the show where we do featured um, local organic products. Today, we are introducing the brand Mamba. Peanut butter, that's what it is. And they have different uh, flavor. They have the spicy flavor, they have the sweet flavor, and they have the super spicy flavor. What I really like about this peanut butter is that it only has a couple um, ingredients and you can actually read it from the back so you actually know what you are getting in your stomach and it does come with some recipe card that you know if you wanted to just you know put it in your dish you could for instance I actually love the spicy peanut butter pancake that you can make your pancake and um, incorporate it in your in, in that dish so if you would like to make a purchase you could just um, click on the link directly and try it. It's selling on Amazon. The company is located in Canada. So the peanuts are from the islands, but the company actually manufactures the peanut butter in Canada. And this is why it's called Moba. So again, today we're featuring Moba on our show. And if you would like to purchase one, we'll have the link for you below. We'll be right back with our dish. Once you open in the water, see it's on top, so you're gonna mm -hmm. stir. So you stir. You stir. Because that's what, on top of the soup, that's what you do. You have to keep stirring. What are some of that? Right. Yes, yeah, so right now it's a little bit too grainy, so I'm gonna let it stay in there for another. But it, it's minutes. cooked. Oh, yeah, but the texture is not right, though. We can put it in there for, for five more minutes. It looks cooked to yeah. me. 11 minutes later. Okay. Okay, okay so I'm going to add the. Does it make matter sure you put sauce. how many shrimp I put in? Oh, make sure you have divided into... Fair you know, share? Yeah. So that means you're... Oh, fair share? Okay, this is what you get. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
No, you have to lay it. This one. <laughs> <laughs> because after all the hard work that I've been through. Hard work? Look, oh um, my God, some nerves. It's only fair. I get some nerves. She's been stirring and cl and then she wiped the counter. Too. I have to give it to her. And how about the dishes? Yeah. Uh, oh, all this mess you made. Well, clean it. You did smell. Yeah, you, you, you told me I was high on Coca Cola. Did you say Coca Cola or Coke? Which Coca -Cola. one? Oh, Coca Cola. Okay. Make I didn't sure. say. I didn't say. You said it. Okay. So. Okay. So you know to eat to eat on uh, this, you want to make sure you have enough um, gravy. Gravy. Mm -hmm, enough gravy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or sauce. We call it sauce in um in Creole and in French it's la sauce. Okay, let me make sure I have enough sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you want it to be uh, like, you know, it's a, each spoonful, you know, you have enough sauce to kind of um, okay. keep the thing moist, keep the corn, corn milk. Welcome back. And again, thank you again for tuning in. If you're just tuning in, my name is Alexandra Caesar and welcome to my cooking channel, Spice Gal. Today, I had my friend, Gersi, we've been friends for 15 plus years and she was gracious enough to share one of her favorite dish, which is island shrimp and grits, okay? Oh, and we added avocado. I forgot, avocado. And Gersi, did you know that corn is green? It's considered like a green vegetable? Which one? Corn. It is a special vegetable. Yeah, but it's considered green, so it's actually good for you. Oh no, corn is I did not know that. Corn is good for you. Okay. But my, um, if I were to feature you know, something from this meal, it would be the avocado. Mm -hmm. It's this right here, everybody should be eating it every day because of the omega 3 content. So, Gersi, I don't usually eat corn. It's not something that I eat on my diet. You know, I stay away from grits because I watch my, my calorie intake. However, since today you had the gracious thought about coming to visit us, and since you cook, the pub show, I have to taste the food. Mm -hmm. So oh, you taste first. Oh, I taste first. Okay. Ooh. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna be having a moment right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a moment. Of course, you could taste. No, no, that's not true. No, mm -mm. I don't know. No, 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 no. You always gonna say you like it because no, you. No, no, that's it. not true. Because I add, I improvise my food. I add stuff. You know, I say, oh, you know what? It's missing this. Oh lord. Oh, lord. I'm, I'm gonna get the paper ready in okay. case. No, just in case I don't like it. It, it smells really good. I mean, okay. I kid you not. It so smells. My, my mouth is going to be a little bit of onion, everything mm -hmm. in there. I need to get some peppers while I can. I'll put my avocado. That's what it is. And then there's a shrimp in there. And see? And then. Mm. Well, it smells really delicious. I'm going to tell you something. It smells like chicken. Mm. It smells like I cook a, a piece of chicken and then. But I don't know if it's because I worked so hard during this meal today, but I could see all the ingredients. I can see the vegetables, the spices. It's almost like the dish is alive and it's very mm -hmm. colorful. You it's know like what I mean? Appealing to your eyes, yeah. Yeah, very appealing. So it's very, very colorful. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Go trust my fingers. It's like you're devouring you're it. You're supposed to have a shrimp on top. No. That's how you're supposed to eat it. My way. Your way. Okay. Yes. I'm going to eat it her way. Yes. Okay. It's don't discriminate. Don't it's discriminate. Right. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. This is actually very good. You know what? This is like four star restaurant. I won't give you a five star. 4.9. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> this is almost like I went to the Bill Bouquet in Atlanta in Buckhead and I, I ordered a dish. That's how good this is. Mm -mm -mm. This is delicious. I feel like a chef cooked this. Are you a chef? Wow. I guess I underestimated Gersi, guys. Mmm. <laughs> You know what? I don't think I can talk anymore. I'm busy eating. So when I was in Haiti, um, you know, usually kids don't like to eat corn meal because it gets a, a bad rap. Oh yeah? Is, is that's what they fed the slaves. So oh it really? Was considered, uh, Slave you know, food? Yeah, low quality food that, you know, if you don't have money, that's what you eat because it was cheaper. I don't know about now, but it was cheaper than rice. 
Oh. So people were, you know, low income, you know, yeah. they would, this is what they would eat. So you had a bad rap, like if you eat that, that means, you know, you should not eat that. This is not so if you, if you eat this, you're from the ghetto? From the ghettos or... You, 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 you just plain ghetto. Yeah, you're eating, or, you're eating or you grits. Go, you go all the way. Now, now I know, mm -hmm. back in the 80s, in, at culinary schools, they would make something called uh, Maimuri a la, a la Rostam, I think it's called, mm -hmm. where they would cook it and they would add, you know, um, special cheese, they would add maybe some cream, I'm not sure, butter, and then they would make like a kind of a scrumptious meal with it, dish. Okay. So it kind of, you know, said having a less... Bad rap. Bad rap. But really that's what it is. People say, oh, even the way they were saying, instead of saying my name, who say my name. So it sounded like, oh, you don't even know how to pronounce it. But just like, you know, colored greens here, it gets a bad rap because it's slaves ate that. They got it from the fields. Oh, really? You know yeah. And it's a very tough green to cook uh -huh. versus spinach, which is very soft, very, yeah. Okay. So that's why it's so and color And colored greens actually very, 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 very I just don't know good vegetables. Yeah, because it's so tough. Because one time I was trying to stir fry it, and it came out so so rough. And uh -huh. then I used to cook it. Right. Yeah, it's supposed to be cooked. Yeah. Cooked, slow cook. Yeah. So um. So I my mother has the same bad rap. Yes. So I don't know about nine eighty, but all I know, uh, it was associated with, with slave. Uh, oh, it was associated with people slaves, that don't have money. Slave. And started the slave because that's what they gave them. That's what they. So it's slave food. Yeah. And then so it continued for the you know centuries and years that. If you are well to do, you don't want to eat that. I see. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well, let me tell you something. I'm pretty sure the audience is so thankful because probably they've never seen grits cook like that. And we appreciate you sharing with the rest of the world the way you eat. Thank you so much, Gracie. You did a great job. Again, tune in. Thank you so much. Subscribe to our channel. I'll see you later. My show is dope. Remember. Ciao.